than I was in kindergarten, and until I reached college, my mom was the one who made my uniforms. I remember the costumes I wore for school programs. All were made by her. When I attended my grade school Christmas parties, she made me cute dresses. And in high school, she made me the simplest, loveliest dress I had for a junior's prom. Fun fact, I also wore it for my college graduation, meaning nothing has changed with my body built then. <laughs> but I love the fact that I was able to feel great wearing the best dress for another milestone in my life with the same masterpiece she had made only for me. Not only in juniors, but also in our seniors prom, she made me a punk style two-piece dress. She also made my lecturer's uniform for church service. And it did not stop there. After graduating from college, she made my uniforms for work and more dresses for special occasions. Like, when I attended my loved one's graduation ring-up ceremony and when I attended some of my friend's wedding, Behind all the special days in my life is she. And now, as I celebrate my union with God and His chosen one for me, there's no other person I would like to make my dream wedding dress than my nanai.
There aren't any set rules on how to be a mother. God has given them their unique purpose to mold us all up to what we exactly are now. What are the things that your mom loves doing for you? Let's pray for them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, thank you for blessing us with the most precious women in our lives. We pray that your Holy Spirit guide our hearts to be good children for them and give them back the love and care they endlessly give us hundred times more. We also pray for those who are away from their mothers physically or emotionally. Please embrace their hearts that only love and forgiveness would prevail. We love you, Lord God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit,